Welcome back to Never Enough Novels. I promised you all a three-part series to introduce the best new Christmas books of 2024, and we finally made it to the last section. Today I'm sharing six of my final recommendations for the best Christmas romances this year. I have a few of the standard contemporary romances that you've come to expect, but I also wanted to throw a few unique options into this last video, including one book that is kind of a take on The Nightmare Before Christmas, and one that is a romance slash cozy mystery. If you missed any of the previous two videos, make sure you head over to my page so you can catch parts one and two, because there are a total of 12 Christmas recommendations that you don't want to miss. Jumping right in, my first recommendation for a contemporary romance is The Holiday Honeymoon Switch by Julia McKay. This is a vacation romance featuring both a tropical destination and like a cozy cottage setting. So it's got a little bit of both for you this season. Two women in unexpected situations might just find the love of their lives. Holly is desperate to get away after her fiance leaves her at the altar. So she convinces her best friend Ivy to take her place on their honeymoon in a tropical island. And Holly is going to take Ivy's place at her scheduled artist's retreat in the woods. In the snowy mountains, Holly discovers that her Airbnb host is actually a former childhood rival who is annoyingly handsome now. Meanwhile, Ivy is enjoying her time in this tropical paradise until Holly's fiance shows up with a new woman in tow, leaving Ivy with no place to stay since he takes their room. Thankfully, a hot bartender comes to her rescue. I'm really looking forward to this one because I like that it's got the dichotomy of like the wintry cozy cabin compared to the tropical paradise. And I'm looking forward to both of these women and their love stories that develop in completely different ways. Then we have The Merry Matchmaker by Sheila Roberts. This is one of my five-star book recommendations. I already had the chance to read it and I absolutely loved it. It's a modern retelling of Jane Austen's Emma, featuring a meddling mom who can't help but get invested in the lives of her friends and family. Frankie owns her town's Christmas-themed store, and she works there with her mom and her daughter and a few employees, including a kind of shy, reserved one named Eleanor. Despite a few mishaps in the past, Frankie just can't help herself whenever she finds like a new opportunity for a new job or a new romance for any of her friends or family or her close friend Mitch. It's not until her efforts kind of accidentally bring together her friend Mitch and her employee Eleanor that she starts to realize she might need to stop meddling so much and focus a little bit more on her own life and opening herself up to new possibilities. This was such a heartwarming retelling that just hit all the right notes. I adored having a middle-aged protagonist who gets a second chance at love. Plus, this is full of Christmassy moments since it takes place in the lead up to the holidays. There's holiday movie watching, small business shopping, Christmas baking, and it felt like I was right there along with the characters as they were exploring all of these activities. I also really adored the side story about Frankie's sister, Steph, and her interactions with a cranky single dad whose son just keeps wishing for a new mom for Christmas. Everything about his difficult situation felt so relatable, and reading about the progression from their disastrous first meeting up until something more that they found between the two of them was just so fun to read. Next up, we have The December Market by Rayanne Thane. A holiday market takes the stage as the setting for this one. Amanda owns the local soap shop, and although she is not looking forward to the season, she knows she can't ignore the potential income as a result of participating in the holiday market. On top of dealing with the, just this already difficult season, Amanda's grandmother starts dating the dashing new resident of her retirement community. Amanda isn't thrilled with this match, and as it turns out, neither is the man's grandson. <laughs> Rafe is a single dad and firefighter who just doesn't have time to be keeping an eye on his grandfather. However, him and Amanda find a common goal whenever they just seem to keep crossing paths over and over again at the market. Rafe knows that he's not really in a position to explore something new because he's still dealing with a painful past, but he can't deny that Amanda is just incredible with his son. This sounds like such a charming story about two people dealing with difficult past situations who might just find something unexpected. Plus, I always love stories that feature a kid because they make for just such unique side characters. I also think it's really important not to forget about our Jewish friends or coworkers or fellow readers this time of year. So I wanted to make sure I included a Hanukkah romance on this list. And this one is Love You a Latke by Amanda Ellie. 
Elliot. Abby isn't feeling all of the lights and the charm of the season, especially because one super annoying customer keeps coming back to her cafe. Seth is a nuisance with all of his grinning and happiness and overt friendliness, and she is just not interested in it. When Abby realizes she desperately needs help to plan the town's fledgling Hanukkah festival, she's dismayed to find out that Seth, that customer, is the only other Jew nearby. Of course it has to be him, and of course he's oh so happy to help her out. But he also has a condition, because Seth's parents have been pestering him to bring around a nice Jewish girl for some time. So he will agree to help Abby with finding a bunch of vendors that she'll need for this Hanukkah festival if she agrees to pose as his girlfriend. So begins a series of adventures from trying out the best latkes in town to awkward interactions with family. Seth and Abby both might discover something potentially unexpected during this festival of lights. Then I've got my take on The Nightmare Before Christmas. So this one is a very unique Christmas romance that I'm excited to share with you. And it's called The Nightmare Before Kissmas by Sarah Rash. This unique holiday book is billed as a crossover between Red, White, and Royal Blue and The Nightmare Before Christmas. The two main characters are holiday royalty. They are the son of Santa Claus and the Prince of Halloween. Nicholas Cole Claus is sick and tired of the holiday since his dad has turned it into just a PR spectacle. But he knows he'll eventually buckle down and do his duty, which is marrying the Easter princess, even though he knows his brother is completely in love with her. But before that all happens, he's up for one last act of rebellion. And this leads to a one night stand with the hottie behind the bar of a seedy dive. It's not until his longtime rival comes to fight for the hand of the Easter princess that Cole realizes it's one and the same of that bartender and he finds out he is the prince of Halloween. Now they're both fighting for this marriage of convenience that neither really wants while at the same time secretly making out and sneaking around on their own. Nothing is picture perfect about this holiday story, but Cole and Hex might just discover a new path forward that leads to a lifetime of love. Like how fun does this sound? I also adore that the cover is really gorgeous and has the beautiful red sprayed edges. I can't wait to dive into this wildly unique story and I think it'll be the perfect fantasy foil to all the typical like Hallmark Christmassy romances. Definitely something different that I think you're going to want to check out. And last up is my romance slash cozy mystery book which is The Most Wonderful Crime of the Year by Allie Carter. I have heard incredible reviews about this one so far. Basically everyone who has read it is raving about it. Two rival writers both get invitations to a Christmas party at the house of a supposedly reclusive fan. But when they arrive, they realize it's actually the home of one of the greatest mystery writers of their time, Eleanor Ashley. Maggie and Ethan are shocked by this revelation, but even more so when they wake up in the morning and realize Eleanor is gone. She has disappeared from a locked room in a seemingly impossible situation. So now with no access to the outside world due to a storm that happened overnight, these two rivals must team up to find out what happened and possibly save Eleanor. The question is, can they put aside their differences to track down the clues and possibly develop some sort of romance along the way? This is high on my list out of all of these books to read because it's got such good reviews so far. And I think it sounds like the perfect mix of a cozy mysteries, like the locked room situation, as well as a little bit of Christmas romance as well. And again, if you missed the previous Christmas romance book recommendations, you can head here to start out with part one.